There's something very important you need to know about, no matter what kind of audio editing work you do, whether it's audiobook narration, podcasting, content creation, or any other type of voice-based work. I recently posted a poll about this topic on my YouTube community, and the results were surprising. Around 60% of people had never heard about this ACX thing. That's a bit surprising, and it also means people are shooting in the dark when it comes to audio editing. You might wonder, why is that? Let me show you why. If I go to Google and search for ACX, you'll notice that the ACX.com website comes up at the top. If you click on it, you'll see that it's a website focused on audiobook narration. Now you might say, I'm not doing audiobook narration, so why is this relevant to me? That's a fair question. Even though this website is mainly targeted at audiobook narrators, it includes very specific guidelines for audio quality. And here's the key point, those guidelines don't just apply to audiobooks. They apply to any kind of audio you want to produce professionally. If your goal is to create clean, professional quality audio, follow these guidelines. These include technical requirements such as the amount of background noise your audio can contain, the desired loudness level, types of noise that are unacceptable, and several other factors. These are standard quality benchmarks. Even if you're not submitting an audiobook, you should still meet these standards to ensure your audio is professional. Many people make the mistake of just listening to their audio and deciding based on how it sounds to them. They assume it's good enough. But sound quality is not only about how it feels subjectively, it also needs to pass specific technical measurements. If you're using Audacity for your audio editing, there's a plugin called ACX Check that helps you measure these technical standards. I have a raw or original recording open in Audacity. Double-click to select the track, and then go to the Analyze menu, and click on ACX Check. The ACX Check plugin is not part of Audacity, and you have to install it separately. If the plugin is installed, it will run a check and show you three key metrics. Peak level. RMS, average loudness. Background noise floor. If your audio passes all three, then it's likely at a professional level. If you don't see ACX Check in your Audacity menu, that means it's not yet installed. I'll explain how to install it later in this guide. From these readings, you can see my raw audio does not pass all checks in ACX. That is normal, and it has to be processed properly to pass the ACX checks. For processing, I will be using macros for a faster result. What I usually do is apply a macro I've created, a one-click tool that automatically improves the sound quality. I call it the Sound Better Macros. I've made versions of these macros that work for both older and newer versions of Audacity, including version 3.6 and later. When I apply the macro, it processes the audio instantly. The audio quality is improved now, and I can check it from the ACX. After applying the macro, the peak and RMS look fine, and a small adjustment is needed in the noise floor. I make a small adjustment using the noise reduction effect. I've made videos showing how to perform noise reduction and other processing steps. You can watch those to learn the exact process. I am skipping the details of the noise reduction effect in this video. The noise reduction is done, and I will recheck the ACX readings. After noise reduction, the audio will either pass in all three, or may need a small adjustment in the peak. For this audio, the peak has been altered after noise reduction. It is by a very small margin, but it can happen sometimes. To fix the peak, I have to use the normalize effect. If you go through the ACX requirements, the peak should be under minus 3 dB. I will normalize to minus 3 dB, and everything should be good. I will go to the ACX check again. This shows how effective the macro is. With just a couple of steps, you can make your audio meet all the professional standards. If you're interested in using my macro, I've added the link in the video description and the pinned comment. Now let's talk about how to install the ACX Check plugin if you don't already have it. Visit the official plugin site, plugins.audacityteam.org. In the search bar, type ACX Check, the ACX Check will appear, and click on it. Download the ACX.ny file. This is a Nyquist plugin file. Audacity has a separate tool to install Nyquist plugins. Open Audacity. Go to Tools, Nyquist Plugin Installer. Click Browse and navigate to the folder where you downloaded the .ny file. Select the file and click Open. Click Apply to install it. I already have it installed. Audacity won't allow it to be installed again. But for you, it will work fine. Once installation is complete, close Audacity and open it again. Now go to the Analyze menu, and you should see ACX Check listed there. 
This tool is a must-have for anyone serious about audio editing. Whether you're a podcaster, audiobook narrator, or content creator, this check will help you meet the industry standards. And again, if you like the one-click plugin macros I showed, you can get them from my shop. I've added the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Check the macros from the link.